Ten years ago today, the world stood still. Twenty children and six educators lost their lives when a gunman entered Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. Families, the town, and the nation were changed forever. As we remember the victims today, we're also talking to those who survived. CBS 2's Zinnia Maldonado begins our coverage with how they've coped this past decade. Back on December 14th, 2012, 20 children and six staff members in Newtown, Connecticut did not return home after a gunman walked into Sandy Hook Elementary and opened fire. It was a decade ago that, you know, 26 people were killed in our school. And I think that realization is starting to hit us. Like 10 years, that's a long time. Those who survived forever shaped by what they saw, heard, and lost that tragic day exactly 10 years ago. Over half a lifetime for students who lived through the shooting, such as Liv Dosher. I feel like the farther and further we move away from it, the more I feel I'm scrambling to um, just remember. So I really just think that the way I'm going to cope with that is just making you know, through people, kind of making sure I'm staying close with my best friend, making sure when I get, when I come home for breaks that I meet up with old teachers that I'm close with. Nicole Hockley lost her six-year-old son, Dylan. She says she's proud to have turned her grief into advocacy. Through her organization, Sandy Hook Promise, Hockley says they have prevented 11 school shootings and hundreds of suicides by training students and educators to report early warning signs of violence. I think it's um, in the last 10 years, uh, one of the, the numbers I've seen is that uh, we're at a million people. Um, impacted by gun violence. You know, this year alone, I think we're already over 40,000 deaths. It's the number one cause of death for children under the age of 19. This morning on the Senate floor, U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal, who represents Connecticut, honoring the lives lost while pushing for stricter federal gun laws. As our heart goes out to them on this day, we should keep in mind in our hearts, the need to honor with action, continuing action. They are doing their job, police, teachers, medical professionals, parents, all of the professionals are doing their job. Congress must do its job. Zinnia Maldonado, CBS 2 News.